Well, hello everybody. I am here today in Odin, Arkansas. It just started raining on me and I am here at Big T's General Store. This place is awesome. Anything and everything you think about Arkansas? Right on in here. I love the owner, Tommy. He's great. Wait till you see him. He's just the real McCoy. Uh, I'm here today because we're gonna do a little shopping and we're gonna have a little bit of something to eat. He invited me to come have hillbilly cuisine. So let's go inside and have some hillbilly cuisine with the hillbillies at Big T's General Store. was a kid I used to come into this store and then for about 12 years or so it was closed and it was about to fall in and I got the opportunity to buy it and the reason I really did it is because I wanted this community to have a gathering place again I wanted the kids like you've just seen big wads of them come in here after school's out I wanted them to have a place to come and memories like I did the year that it was built I don't know the building was moved here and put in place as a as a store, uh, probably in the 30s. That the rock building back there was built in 1897. And that's when you were born? Not quite. It was a store, but it didn't look anything like it does now. It was an old white building, which is still here, but we've covered it up with, with metal and, you know, it's, it was not insulated. It didn't have, it was just an old slat wall building. It's around 200 people, population, uh, farming community. It's based up and down the Washita River, you know, and right now our economy is, is farming cattle farms mainly. Uh, used to be a lot of chicken houses, there's not as many as it used to be, and it's uh, recreation. You know, a lot of outdoor recreation. People come from all over the country to float the river, to ride the ATV trails, the bicycle trails, horseback riding. There's a big horse camp just up the road. I mean, outdoor recreation of every kind has become a real big deal. 
Well, there's another store down the road here about three miles uh, that does uh, burgers and stuff. But as far as in Odin, no, I'm it. But if you're looking for uh, something a little bit different, we're it. You know, we you know we call it hillbilly cuisine or however you want to pronounce it. We're just old country folks, and you're going to find a smile here. I'm going to ask you how you're doing, and and God, wish you Godspeed on your way. And uh, you know, we've did we've done weddings here. I'm a I'm a preacher, and I had some people call me. Here, ball back and want to know if I'd marry them. And I said, Yeah, I'll talk to you about it. Well, about 10 minutes later, they pulled up in the parking lot. They was ready right then. So I spoke to them a little bit and we hitched them right there in front of the counter. You know, so how many stores can you get married in? Probably not many. I wouldn't imagine. <laughs> Well, I mean, I just like them to stop, but stop in and give us a shot if they're in the area. We got some great barbecue. I've started cooking barbecue when I was 15. It's been a love. Uh, and uh, I've got a good friend of mine who does a lot of the cooking for me, and, and he's good. So we got good food. We're friendly folks. You know, you, you're gonna you're gonna be, feel safe here, you, and we're gonna be kind to you and good to you. And it don't matter. You know, we're we're men men and women of faith, and we'll share that with you if you want it. And uh, it's just it's just a good community to spend time in. Okay, we are ready to have our hillbilly cuisine, as Tommy calls it. So this is going to be our first thing that we're going to try, and this is the Preacher's Special Pizza. And this is a thin crust pizza with barbecue sauce, and it has all meats. So sausage, Canadian bacon, and pepperoni, and I don't know what kind of cheese. That is so good. Barbecue sauce is amazing. Then we have a half pulled pork and half brisket sandwich with um, potato salad and baked beans. So, let's try the baked beans. Oh wow, those are amazing. Oh, they're so good. And then let's try the, um, the potato salad. She said it's like a baked potato. And I can kind of see that because it still has like some of the potato skin on it and bacon. Okay, it's one of the best potato salads I've ever tried. Okay, so this is the pulled pork. Oh my gosh. That might be the best thing I've had so far. Wow. Okay. Who needs fine dining when you have hillbilly cuisine? This is just delicious. So this one is the brisket. Wow. Holy cow. Oh. All of this is absolutely incredible. It's insanely incredible. Okay. Now we got a root beer float, which is slowly dying. Ooh, oh, that's so good. And we have a specialty dessert. All right, let's try this dessert. Looks pretty incredible. Mm, oh my gosh, that's so good. Okay, everybody, I am headed out now from Big T's General Store here in Odin, Arkansas. And I gotta tell you, this has probably been the best food I've had since I've been in the state of Arkansas. It was amazing. The barbecue was the best. Um, the barbecue followed by the pizza and the root beer float was insanely delicious. But I would say that my favorite thing was their pulled pork. <sighs> Out of this world delicious. So, because it was probably the best barbecue in the state of Arkansas, you guys need to come here to Big T's General Store. Again, here in Odin. Ain't a whole lot going on in Odin, but this place is killer. I'm going home with my pizza and I'm going home with a couple of souvenirs. They've got everything here. They've got fishing gear, hunting gear. They've got sweatshirts, t-shirts. They have um, stuff for your car, knives, you know, convenience store items like chips and soda and things like that. And of course their food. Um, but they also have this. So I'm going home with this. And I'm also going home with a t-shirt that has their logo on it and I love these guys. He said, these are not gnomes, these are hillbillies. So we got a t-shirt with their logo on it. Going home with a sweatshirt with the name of the town. 
Odin. I love this. It's pretty dang huge though. Hopefully I will not be eating so much food by the end of my time in Arkansas that I can fit into it. I love it. It's comfy and it's pink, of course, so I love it. Um, so that's it, everybody. I've had a fabulous time. Tommy, the owner, has been fabulous. He's a great guy. Good, good guy. Um, and just really enjoyed my time here. And I hope to be back someday. Make sure that the next time you guys stop into Odin, you stop in here at Big T's General Store. And when you do, make sure to let them know that Lisa sent you. And until next time, everybody, don't get lost without me.